all of you Zoom specialists and online Zoom masters. Ricky here with Breaking Your Barriers coming to you with a tip on how to connect a soundboard to your computer so that you sound fantastic when you're on a Zoom meeting. Now I'm going to show you two options, how to use a handheld mic when you are on your Zoom meeting as well as a lapel microphone or wireless microphone so that you have easy mobility if you're walking around and presenting something. Stick around and I'll teach you how to connect your soundboard to your laptop or your PC. All right, here are some of the items you're gonna be needing. For example, this here is if you wanna use a wireless microphone option. I use the Rode Go. It comes with microphone and it comes with your receiver. This, this all comes together in a box if you get this. This is the only thing that doesn't come with it. This is a 3.5 millimeter or headphone jack to XLR adapter. You're gonna need a soundboard. Soundboard is up to you. Definitely gonna need some cables. This cable right here, mine doesn't accept XLR main out. It accepts quarter inch as my main out. I'll show you how to connect it later on. One of the most important tools is this right mm -hmm. here. This is a Y adapter, two female XLRs to one male XLR. Wired microphone, microphone and its cable right here. You're gonna need quarter inch to 3.5 inch cable as well. And I will show you why that's important in a little bit. This, I couldn't live without. This is your USB sound adapter it's usb and it offers you microphone as well as headphone and the reason this is important is because the crazy laptops of today only give you one port for both microphone or headphone i thought that was bananas so this is the way to get past that limitation you're also going to need this which is a female xlr to 3.5 millimeter. This is what is going to come from the soundboard into your computer. And I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna need headphones so you can hear yourself as well as your participants in your meeting. The last thing you're gonna need is a laptop and a Zoom app. Now let's go ahead and connect everything. So make sure everything here is zeroed out. Lowest volume, fader, lowest volume. Everything is down, okay? Now let's go to connect the wireless. I'm gonna put this on channel three. This is your microphone, so you can put this on your lapel. It's going to connect your wired mic. So I'm, try I'm trying to show you two options in one shot so you don't have to go through multiple videos. Once it's connected to the wire, go ahead and plug this into whatever channel you want. In my case, I'm going to plug it into channel two. So let's go ahead and connect this to the main outs. Once that's connected to the main out, that's when I utilize my Y adapter. And on this end, the male XLR, you're thinking, well, how's that gonna go into the computer? With this bad boy right here. And this is the other end of this adapter. Now here, 
you're going to connect it to your USB audio adapter. In this case, you want to connect it to the slot that is marked microphone. So everything that's coming from the soundboard, you hear it. Next, you connect your USB adapter to your computer. Once it's connected, it'll light up letting you know that it's ready to go or it's installing the software that you need to run this particular little gadget right here. And one thing I highly recommend is do not connect to Zoom just yet. Wait for everything to be connected so that you can do everything properly. Now the last thing you're going to need is this adapter right here. This quarter inch to 3.5 or headphone jack. This will connect to the headphone. And the quarter inch will go into, in my case, channel one. This particular signal is very important. It's because you will hear everybody inside of the room and at the same token, whatever you use the computer for, if you wanted to open up YouTube and play music or play anything for your guest, or fellow members who are in your Zoom meeting, they can enjoy the music and it's gonna sound fantastic. It'll sound like it's coming out of the radio of how clean it is. That depends once again on how you mix it in. And mixing is a little bit tricky because every soundboard has its own temperament. Now the last thing you're gonna need so you can hear everybody in the room is your headphone. And you connect this to your headphone jack. Once everything's connected, you're ready to go. And you can definitely test both your wireless as well as your wired system. Mic check, testing, one, two. Mic check, testing, one, two. And that sounds clean. That's for, the, that's for a wired system. And if you, have a, if you have a stand, it makes it even better. Now for this wireless mic, it has its own settings and it has its own sensitivity. So if you want to learn more about this particular mic, I do have a video on this and how to set it up. So it's up to you, whatever wireless mic you choose. If you want to use something this discreet and small, great. If you want to use a professional one like a Shure or an AKG or something like that, that's completely up to you as well. So the wireless system gives you options of being able to stand up, move around, the microphone not being in your face in case they need to see your face and your reactions. So this is completely at your discretion, whether you want to use a wireless or wired mic. And I definitely recommend doing some research on how to set your soundboard. Here I just want to give you guys an idea of how to connect your Zoom to a soundboard and the way I set my microphones as well as my sounds. This is also set at zero. This is the sound that's coming from your computer. So you can play music or whatever, and you can hear what's happening inside of the room. This I typically set, it depends on how loud it gets. You can set this anywhere you wanna set it, wherever it's most comfortable for you. Sound coming from your computer, as well as from the room you're in. Once everything is set, you connect to your Zoom, click on start. This is gonna open up. It's gonna ask if you wanna join with audio, you click yes. See, I maximize mine. And to make sure everything is working, I go here. And I can see that it says USB audio device for speaker out has been selected which is correct because I connected the headphones to here into my soundboard. And then here where it says select microphone, once again, my microphone is coming in from the USB audio device, which is that USB sound adapter that I showed you guys earlier. Those are the two options that you're gonna to wanna to choose. Now you can go to audio settings, you can mess around 
how much power you want your microphone to have as well as your speaker. So that's completely up to you. Currently, this is my setting right here. And my microphone is, looks like maybe even less than 20%. I also give myself the option to not use automatically adjust microphone volume. I like to have original sound, which is why I chose this right here. And you can see that the blue bar is bouncing every time I speak. So it's picking up some kind of sound level or something and it's working. And all you need to do next is just turn on your camera. And I just want to see if everything is working. Mic check, can I hear myself? Yes, I can hear myself. So this is working perfectly, both my wired as well as my wireless. Mic check, test one, two. Yes, I can hear myself there. Mic check, testing one, two. I can definitely hear myself there as well. Now, if you guys have any other questions or need some advice, feel free to post a comment in the comment section. Otherwise, smash that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and I will make sure that you get to see that next video if you want to learn something new. See you guys on the next video.